Hello, I am Sajish Gupta working as a Java trainer in Naresha Technologies. Welcome to Java 8 uh, video series. Now, in this video, we will talk about one of the important feature of Java 8 that is Stream API. Okay, Stream API. Okay, this Stream API is introduced in Java 8.0. Now, in the previous videos, we have seen what is a lambda, okay, lambda expression or what is lambda and even I said you what is functional interface and how to develop a functional interface. Now this is an approach of functional programming, right? So it means you are trying to write a function as an object and which can be moved from one function to another function or which can be moved from one method to another method. Now this is an approach towards functional programming. Now that is what we have seen like lambda expression and functional interface. We have seen how to create a functional interface and how this functional interface can be represented as what lambda expression and even we have seen one of the change in Java 8 and that is what method reference. So how a uh, method reference is nothing but a shorthand of which one lambda expression. Okay. So we have seen different types of method references in the videos previous videos that is uh, static method reference okay static method reference I said even non static method reference okay and uh, even constructor reference okay construct a method refers to a constructor and even we have seen a method refers to an arbitrary type okay method refers to an arbitrary type now till now I said you all these features in Java 8 that is lambda expression functional interfaces which is an approach towards functional programming that is how to create a functional interface and how this functional interface uh, represented as a lambda expression and there are shortened ways of representing lambda expression by using method reference okay. Now we will try to we try to use all this when we work with the stream API. Now this is one of the major change which is done in Java 8.0 along with this. Okay. So, this stream API now stream API, but before Java 8 you have IO streams. Okay, this do not be confused with stream API and IO streams. Now, before Java 8, we use IO streams to perform IO operations, IO operations on a file or other other input and other input and output sources or other input and output devices, right. Now these are different, right, but the operations of stream is the same, but uh, these IO streams and stream API, the stream API is introduced to manipulate, to manipulate collections. The stream API is used to manipulate what? Collections, collections, it means the stream API is completely belongs to what? Collections. Okay. So, before talking about stream API, I just give you a simple definition of what is a stream exactly, now stream and what stream required. Okay. So, we will see what is a stream is, okay. what is stream, so we will see what is a stream is, what is stream. Okay. Stream is nothing but, okay. stream is nothing but, now stream is a pipe you can say stream is a pipe or it is an object which represent stream is a pipe or object which represent represent input source input source or uh, output destination okay stream is a pipe or object which represent input source or output destination so generally why we use a streams like before java 8 you have a streams like io streams before Java 8, you have IO streams, right? IO streams. IO means I means what here input and O means what here output. You are using IO streams. Okay, before Java 8.0, you have IO streams 
which are exist in java dot io package which are exist in java dot io package for example there is one file okay there is one file assume that there is a file called file 1 so this is my java program and i want my java program should write the data to the file 1 then how it is writing it with the help of one stream and that stream you call it as file so file output stream now you are using file output stream or you are using file writer you are using file output stream or file writer in order to write data inside what file means a file a stream required what destination a stream required a destination for writing a stream required destination for writing in the same way this is my java program assume that this is my java program and my java program want to read the data from file now in order to read the data from file what my java program required again is stream and this is which stream file <coughs> okay i'm using file input stream or i'm using what file reader i'm using file input stream or file reader in order to read the data from the file now this is a simple simple uh, simple definition of what is a stream okay generally use use file output stream for writing it and use file input stream for reading it use file writer for writing use a file reader for reading it means either stream required either source or what destination now this is about what exactly a stream it means why we are using a stream star in order to read and write what data in order to read and write what data this is what you do with io streams io streams which are available in java dot io package then what about stream api okay stream api which is introduced in java 8.0 now this stream api i said you know stream required either input source or output destination it means streams are used for writing streams are used for what reading but when you're talking about stream api which is provided by java 8.0 now this stream api works with what collections the stream api works with what here collection it means the stream api is used to read the data from collections in order to perform certain operations the stream api which is introduced in java 8.0 used to read the data from which one collection to manipulate the objects which are there in collection to manipulate the objects which are there, there in what collection for that they introduce what stream api in 8.0 then why they introduced stream api in java 8.0 because generally before java 8.0 how the data is read from collections now there are different ways of reading the data from collections before java 8.0 to manipulate it okay now first one is you'll try to read it by using iterators okay you use iterators like iterator you try to use what list list iterator list iterator now you try to use what enumeration okay you can use a for loop uh, you can use a for loop okay and even you can use enhanced enhanced for loop enhanced for loop right so you are trying to use okay you are trying to use different ways of reading the data from what collection before java 8.0 what are the different ways first one is iterator why you are reading why you read the data from collections to perform certain operations for example i want to find the max of salary suppose my collection is having 100 employees and i want to find out the maximum a thousand employees i want to find out the maximum i want to find the sum of all the employee salary then i read i read employee details and i perform certain operations for that i try to use some methods before java 8.0 that is iterator list iterator enumeration for loop and enhanced for loop now when you have all these methods to read data from collections and uh, manipulation why in java 8.0 introduce stream api what are the drawback of using this particular approaches because of that they introduce what stream api in java 8.0 
okay now we'll talk about what are the drawbacks of using all these approaches and uh, why they introduce stream api in the next video i think you understood what exactly this is for more videos subscribe narish edi channel thank you